Over the years, we've been getting lots of reports and the herd's been getting a little bigger and bigger. In order to get an accurate count of the elk herd in Sioux County, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe partnered with the Game and Fish Department and UND to radio collar five cow elk. We want to put some radio collars on so we can more closely follow the herd, get better information on their movements and the herd composition. North Dakota Game and Fish manages elk for um, hunters and for, the, for all residents in North Dakota. So it's important to get an idea of how many they are so they can better manage the species across the landscape. The issue isn't just the size of the herd, but how those numbers affect landowners, both private and tribal. They can travel 10 miles in one night and travel back the same 10 miles the next night. And, and in between, you have tribal land, you have state, uh, privately owned land that, that these elk are roaming in, so it's, it's a really good thing that uh, we're working together on this. They face the same thing we're facing, you know, as far as depredation threats and stuff like that, disease. Once the collars are in place, they send out a waypoint every four hours, which means the graduate student administering the study no longer has to hike the rugged terrain on the reservation to find the herd. We can just check our computer periodically to find out where the elk are at any given time. Game and Fish's Bill Jensen says to his knowledge, this is the first cooperative wildlife research project between his agency and the tribe, and that he's confident both teams will learn from the work. Steve Sitting Bear agrees. Coming to the North Dakota Game and Fish and, and saying, hey, we have, a, we have a significant elk population down here and uh, we need to take further steps to, to help protect them. This Tom Jensen, Outdoors.